Do you want to know one of the most cost-effective ways of capturing highly qualified leads for your business? If so, I'm going to show you in just a second. All right, as you know, as a business owner, it's very important that you capture leads, capture people who are interested in the product or service that you provide, right? And you've all seen the traditional sales funnel. You've got to get people in the top of the funnel and slowly work their way down to the point of a sale down here, right? That's the traditional sales funnel. But did you know that Facebook just released a new advertising method through Facebook ads called lead capture? Now here's the beauty of the way it works. Facebook will actually allow you to run an ad and when you run that ad, they will actually capture name, email address, phone number, whatever information that you're looking to capture from your leads and they will do it by pre-populating the fields. So in other words, if you want to capture name and email address, when someone clicks on your ad, send me more information or learn more, Facebook will automatically pre-populate the fields that you select with their information pulled straight from their Facebook profile. So I'm gonna take you through real quick and just show you how simple and easy it is to set up this new lead capture campaign using Facebook's Power Editor. So let's go ahead and go ahead over to the computer and I'll show you. Here we are in Power Editor. Now, if you're not familiar with Power Editor, you'll wanna find our other video that walks through how to set up Power Editor. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Ugly Mug Marketing Power Editor, you'll find the video where we walk you through how to use this powerful tool called Power Editor. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna show you how to actually use the brand new lead capture campaign objective in Power Editor. So the first thing you wanna do as always is click on Create Campaign over here in the top left. The next thing we're gonna do here is just enter the name of our campaign. And then under campaign objective, we will click on lead generation. Again, lead generation. Okay, so we have that selected. So let's go ahead and enter our ad set name. Now again, if you're not familiar with Power Editor, this will all be new to you. So you may want to start with the other video when we walk you through how to use Power Editor. So again, you can find that on YouTube. So here we have it. So we're going to click Create. All right. We're going to go ahead and move into our ad set. One second here as I select our page. There we go. And we're going to use a lifetime budget. And we're going to say just uh, $20. Go ahead and set end date. We're gonna adjust our audience. And again, you would do this based on your audience. So you would want to make sure that you have a clear understanding, just like we always talk about using Dan Kennedy's marketing triangle. Until you understand your market, there's no way for you to effectively and efficiently write a message, craft a message that appeals to your audience. The other thing is you can't target that audience using Power Editor unless you know that information about them. You know, where are they? What geography? What are the demographics for that audience? What are their interests? What are their behaviors? What are the problems that you're trying to solve or the needs or wants or desires that you're trying to fulfill? So here we go. We're gonna just set that, save. Okay, we're not going to adjust anything else in that. The next thing we're gonna do is go under ad set. I'm sorry, under ad. So here we are under ad. And let's see what I wanna do for this one. Um, let's see, $195 website. Oh, website review yours free okay yours free so we're giving away a website review $195 value let me just make some text up here okay 
and what doesn't. Okay, that's good enough. Again, I'm just trying to show you um, an example. Um, learn more today. Display URL, we're just gonna use mugmarketing.com. Select an image. I'm just gonna grab a random image here. Let's see, just a random, 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 random image that would make sense in this context. Alrighty, righty, righty, let's go with this one. Okay, confirm. Now again, you obviously want to craft your message based on your audience. Um, we're gonna do learn more as the button. And again, that's a subtle nuance that we like to use. Um, instead of clicking on sign up, which some people may be apprehensive to do, if we click on learn more, people are more likely to click that button. So anyway, that's one small side note that we've discovered. Now we're going to create a new lead capture form. So let's take a look at what that means. So name your form. So in this case, ugly mug test form. Next. So it's saying what information do you want to capture? So by default, it's got name, full name, and email address. Click on right here, show more options, and it shows you all the other info that you could potentially collect. So if you just wanted first name, you could do first name and email address. You could do city, state, uh, phone number, date of birth, uh, gender, relationship, marital status, job title, work email address. So you can select all those that you would want. In this case, I'm gonna do first name and email address. Then down here, you could ask three additional questions. Now, what I want you to understand is that the user information, when they click on your ad, this information, the user information, will automatically be pre-populated by Facebook, meaning their first name will automatically show up in the field where the first name would go. Their email address will automatically appear in the email field. So Facebook pulls that data from their Facebook profile and automatically inserts it for them into your form. Now what this means is it means a higher conversion rate. And the reason for that is because people don't have to do any work, right? They just simply click the link, all their information is there, and then they can click on submit and that will automatically send you all of their information. Now, if you wanted to add an additional step, you can do that right here, which would where you can add your own custom questions. So here are some questions that you can select from over here. Purchase intent, how long before you intend to purchase? Um, you need help with, what are you looking for? What is the problem? Um, auto insurance, annual mileage, health insurance, coverage status, so in other words, they have insurance, they don't have insurance. So these are some additional or you can add your own custom question. So the question in our case might be, do you currently have a website? Answers. So if you wanted to default answers, you could put answers in there, right? So if we want it to be multiple choice, yes, no, there we go. So we click on next, and it basically says you have to enter your privacy policy, okay? You have to enter your privacy policy. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about how to get a privacy policy. Um, that's not what this video is about. Uh, I'll just say there are plenty of places online where you can get um, privacy policies that are under Creative Commons, meaning you can take and adapt them to your needs, okay? Let me enter ours real quick. All right, next. Where do you wanna send people after they submit the form? So if you wanted to send them to maybe a video or some special page, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to fill that out. Here's what's gonna happen next. Strongly recommend you customize this page 
based on what information you're collecting. So in our case, if we were indeed collecting information to give away a free website review, we might want to send them to a page that says, thank you so much for taking the time to express interest in our complimentary website review. What's now going to happen is we're going to take your information and review it, and we will be in contact within 48 hours to schedule your complimentary free website review. In the meantime, I've put an additional link below this video to help you along your way, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when you customize that, you build trust, you build value, and you strengthen the bond between you and this prospect who just gave you their information. So anyway, go ahead and click next on the bottom. So here you can see a sample kind of a what the form would look like. Click on next. So this is what the form would look like. And again, it would automatically populate the fields that they have, okay? It would automatically populate that information. So what I want you to understand is Facebook gives you the ability now to capture data quickly and easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Form down in the bottom right. So that is what would happen when people click on our ad, okay? Now, where do you get that information? Where can you go to find the information when people submit it? I'm gonna show you that in one second. All right, so through the magic of editing, we are now here on our Facebook page, our business page. And let's say that we've been running our ad and we know that people have been filling out our ad because we're monitoring our campaign and we can see how many people have submitted the form. So now we come to our page and you will get their information by clicking on publishing tools right here kind of in the center of the page. And then over here on the left hand side you will see where it says forms library. So you will click on that. So here are the forms that we have. You can see that we already had some other forms created and that we've gotten some opt-ins on. This is the one that we just created right here. And then all you would do is click on download and that would download the information either as a CSV file, comma separated value, or as an Excel file. And that is where you would get all of the lead capture information that you just captured. So that is how you set up a lead generation campaign using Facebook's Power Editor. Again, if you're not familiar with Power Editor, check out our other videos on YouTube. Search for Ugly Mug Marketing, and then type in Facebook or Facebook Power Editor, and you will see several other videos where we walk you through step-by-step -step how to use this powerful tool called Power Editor. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Hope it's been helpful. Let us know how we can help you reach your goals. Talk to you soon.